Now, patient with suspected heparin-induced thrombocytopenia has 4T score of 6. What is the best immediate action? Continue heparin and await platelet fall. Stop all heparin and that. Start with direct thrombin inhibitor. Start warfarin immediately or give platelet transfusion. So, correct answer is stop all heparin and start a direct thrombin inhibitor. So, we will see what is the 4T score. So, they, the 4 T's defined heparin-induced thrombocytopenia and they have developed a scoring system around that. So, first is thrombocytopenia, which tells us from the score is from 0 to 2 for each one of them. So, total score is from 0 to 8. So, in thrombocytopenia, if there is less than 30% fall, we give a 0 point. If it is between 30 to 50% fall, we give 1 point. And if it is more than 50% fall, we give 2 points. Or the lowest platelet is more than 24. And the timing then. So once we see thrombocytopenia, second is the timing of the decrease. So for 2 points, we need day 5 to day 10. Or within 1 day of recent heparin in the past 30 days. So if the patient has got previous exposure to heparin, the platelets will fall immediately. And then we look for thrombosis. So proven thrombosis or skin necrosis will get 2 points and no thrombosis will get 0 points. Then we think about other causes of thrombocytopenia. So if we find known, none other cause from thrombocytopenia, we give 2 points. If we find some other cause of thrombocytopenia, we give 0 points. So we total the score and it can range from 0 to 8. So 0 to 3 is low probability of hit, which is less than 1%. 4 to 5 is intermediate probability, which is hit around 10%. And 6 to 8 score is high probability, this is around 4 50%. So when we have hit of 6, the score was more than equal to 6 in the previous MCQ. So we have to stop heparin and start with any other anticoagulant. In this case, it was direct thrombin inhibitors or gatroban. So that is the whole logic.